Hi, and welcome to the beautiful city of Prague, a cultural, economic, and political hub on the Vltava River in the center of Europe. The history of this capital of the Czech Republic covers over a thousand years, and it played an important role in the Habsburg Empire and the Austrian-Hungarian Empire. It lived through world wars and communism, and with over 1.3 million inhabitants, still is a very lively city to date. Famous for its historical and aesthetically pleasing old town, colorful Baroque buildings, and great nightlife, it's very much a city worth exploring, so let's do so too. In 1348, the Czech king, King Charles IV, established Wenceslas Square, the main square of Prague. The square has been an important place for gatherings and demonstrations through the ages, like the protest of the Soviet invasion and the fall of communism. These days, it is a popular shopping area where you can find many big fashion brand stores, bookstores, coffee shops, and restaurants. At the higher end of the Wenceslas Square, the National Museum sits overlooking the rest of the square. Founded in 1818, the museum was created for all Czechs, and not just for the elite that had a monopoly on knowledge. It brought an intellectual shift to Prague, as knowledge became more accessible for the everyday man. The building was designed by Joseph Schultz in a neoclassical style and makes it one of the most prominent features of the city. In the old town, also referred to as Prague Castle, as it was once all part of the Royal Castle grounds, you can find many historical treasures, like the St. Vitus Cathedral, the construction of this neo-Gothic cathedral started in 1344 and was only truly finished in 1929, almost 600 years later, as wars caused construction to come to a standstill a couple of times. In the church, the crown jewels are kept and Czech kings are buried. It is also home to the seat of the Archbishop of Prague. Not far from the cathedral, you'll find St. George's Basilica, which is the oldest church in the old town, having been established around 920 by Prin Vratislav. It is also the best preserved example of Romanesque architecture from the Kingdom Bohemia, which preceded the Czech nation. As you can see, the church is dominated by its two white towers. This is the Powder Tower, 